you know, so to air is human and uh, to edit is to be a designer. Anything that you draw in Revit can be modified in myriad ways. So um, I can click on this again and I can do edit in place again. And I can say, pick on the uh, cylinder here and lower it uh, or pull the bottom up. Uh, and now it's, it's cut it in a different way. I could click on that cylinder uh, and pick this little uh, maybe I can do this. I've got a dimension. I could set the dimension precisely. Um, you know, I could pick this object and um, edit the top. and finish, and I got something a little bit different. Um, I can pick this one and edit it with its grab bars. I could pick this one and move it over. Um, I could change it into a void. And cut with it. Didn't change it a whole lot, but it's okay. Um, <clears throat> I could pick that. And See, I could edit the work plane of it. Would that work? Move it up to level two. And now it's up higher here. And it's still cutting a hole through it the way I would hope it would. So, um, you know, just play with it until you get something that you like. Um, keep it about this 20 foot by 20 foot uh, area cube. Um, that's, that's all because when we ultimately make models of these things, the models will be at eighth inch scale, they would be about two and a half inches on each dimension. So it's kind of a nice size to fit in your hand.